When I meant buying, in, I meant buying, trading, etc. Because these essentially are trading at eight dollars a piece. If you like opening packs, I can definitely recommend uh, going ahead. And Collected Defiance is a good card. Nissa's Renewal. So Expeditions are one in forty, and looks like we didn't get one. Unfortunately, we didn't get one. So. 1 in 40 is like 1 in 80 booster box packs, so that's like two boxes. Nahiri's Wrath. And last pack. Last pack. Oh, that's a good one. And Foil Island. So we're going to do the pack summary right now to go over what we have pulled. Let's see. Uh, in terms of amount, I think we were very unlucky uh, in terms of what cards our mythics were. I feel like if we had just slightly better mythics, we would be much better off. And definitely, so 27 packs times 2, 54, one and a half booster boxes of rares and mythics but the ratio is kind of whacked. It's kind of strange. The ratio is very strange. Uh, you definitely get more foils. So let's go over what we got. So in terms of mythics, out of 27 packs, you got six mythics, which is typically what we would expect to see. We would see four mythics a box. So we got exactly the same amount of mythics that we we would expect to get. We didn't get any foil mythics, but that's okay. Uh, next, you get a lot more foils. It's pretty much the same as buying a pack, but getting more foils, which is neat. That's pretty cool. And let's see what we have in terms of foil. So obviously our rares were not the best. I do have a feeling that Battle for Zendikar, whenever you see something from that set, it's very bad. And this might be a good way in the future to sell cards in bad sets, like Battle for Zendikar, because you just open a ton of it. Anyway, let's see how many Battle for Zendikar we have. Kaladas, I think a lot of Battle for Zendikar. It's actually probably even split now that I look at it. It's, it's so random. It's just completely random. And there's no rares or mythics from O for the Gatewatch, but there are uncommon foils. And I assume common foils as well. So we have land, uncommon, uncommon, common, rare. So you do get way more rare foils than you normally would get. Common, uncommon, common, another rare. Yeah, I forgot about that one. So it is possible to, this is like a high risk, high reward type of style if you're trading for them at two packs because there is additional foil leverage where you get slightly better, but at the same time, it still packs, right? It still packs a card. It's exactly the ratio I would expect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven uncommons. So six mythics, exactly the same amount that you expect in a box and a half of any of anything. Uh, six, seven uncommons. Sorry, seven uncommons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, that's exactly the same ratio. But the rares, unfortunately, we didn't get any mythics. But the rares, there are more foils. There are six of them. I feel like six is not a typical one. Six would be, you know, getting as many rares, foils as mythics, and that's typically not the case in most boxes. So interesting experiment. I think I overpaid for it at $8 a pack, but anyway, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you want to open some more of these, I'll be more than happy to trade for them. I'm essentially trading standard cards for them. I do feel like when I look at what the cards are, it's probably a net loss, but it was fun nonetheless to do.
Anyway, bye guys.